yeah and then to to lead into who would be off the grid for my my uh, you know version one that would mean that botas is off the grid logan Sargent's off the grid and daniel ricardo's off the grid who are three drivers that you know i i do think we love to see them but probably won't much longer. yeah uh, if if anything I think Botas is for sure off the grid like he's kind of riding into the sunset he doesn't seem super into it like he was when he was racing at Mercedes he's Um, the Kimi Raikkonen of the grid right now right and I think he's just kind of sunsetting and you know leaving on a a fun note I don't know but I think that one for sure he's he's not coming back Logan Sargent I don't think is gonna be able to come back unless like I was saying you know, James Wells decides to stick with the game plan and keep the same team, same lineup, and really just work on improvements with the cars right. um, and not taking on an 18-year-old rookie. Mm-hmm. Um, and and then it's between Daniel and Joe, honestly. Yeah. For yeah. Me. I mean, the, there, there are a couple really narrow opportunities for, for Daniel. I don't think he's going to go to Haas. Um, I just, you know, the Haas already kind of sort of not really tried that when he, you know, when he was available after leaving McLaren. Um, but I, I just don't see it. Ha- I, I see it happening less now unless Lance leaves and, you know, daddy strolls like, Hey, I'll take, I'll take the Aussie. Um, but I, I don't really like that's, that doesn't seem very likely to me. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I could now, now that you've said it, I could see a really weird thing happening that leads to Daniel going to Sauber, but then, then Carlos would just have to go to, to Mercedes. Yeah. Honestly, the thing that makes me really upset is if Carlos's agent doesn't play this right, he could wind up without a C next year. I don't think he will, because I think the teams are also, you know, aware of the fact that he's one of the best unsigned drivers right now. And there, you know, there are plenty of teams that would be stupid not to take him. And I don't think that they're going to leave it to the summer to determine where he's going to go. Yeah. I don't know. But then also, so speaking of just who could be off the grid, let's let's play Emily's devil's advocate here. Mm-hmm. Carlos gets the Red Bull seat. Is Checo going anywhere? Or is Checo off the grid? Oh, I I think Checo's off the grid. If I I think it's Red Bull or bust for for Perez. You know, he's he's had such a long storied career, but he has also had such a long storied career right. that I think that that this would be. You know, when when he's done at Red Bull, he will go off into the sunset with his fourteen thousand children. He only has like four, right? I think it's five Jesus at this Christ. point. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Cause that's like, that was kind of my question too of like, where do I, there's, again, there's only so many seats. We'll get so many rookies next year. Um, Cause I don't see the grid staying the same. Like, I don't think we'll all. We're have not going to have another year. year of, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, that was what an interesting question I was asking myself is like, where does he go? Cause he is a good driver. Like I could somehow see him landing at Haas, like if he had to, but I don't think he would want that seat. I think he'd rather leave the grid. Yeah, no, there, cause there's such a, like, there's what five good teams and five not good teams and the drivers who are out of a seat in those top four or five teams are not going to go to like the eight, nine team just for the sake of staying on the grid. Well, like I get it. Saying, love for like, the sport. That's what I'm saying about Carlos though. Like, I don't think he'll go to Audi, Sauber, whatever we want to call them. Because I think that's a difference. Team. I think that's a different situation because they're gambling on the potential of Audi being competitive in the new regulation. But is it worth that gamble? If they're going to pay him, then yes. It's not about the money. It's about- oh, it's about the money. Lo- right, Lewis Hamilton is getting $100 million know, a year to drive a, a Ferrari turtle. Well, right now he's driving a, a Merc turtle, so. um, Yeah, big. 